The main reason why I love VR is immersion. Experiencing surreal moments and stories like traveling through time and Wanderer is a fantastic example. So let's dive in and see what makes this new title so great. First, here's a short snippet of my genuine reaction when booting up Wanderer for the first time. All right, grab it. Do it quick. That was incredible. I love this game. What did we just see? For a bit of context, in Wanderer, you'll take on the role of Asher Newman. You find yourself in an alternate apocalyptic timeline where your first task will be to find your grandpa's lost apartment and explore the artifacts hidden inside it. Once there, you find a very unusual watch with a big personality called Sam. You ain't just gonna leave me on the floor, are you? I'm here to um, help. No. Ah, that's more like it. That's where the fun really begins, because Sam unlocks the power to travel through time and space. And in case you're wondering, yes, the time traveling mechanic feels as amazing as it looks. Whoa! It's very fluid and satisfying and has no loading screens at all between timelines, which really adds to the immersion factor. It's probably obvious by now, but the game looks absolutely stunning and despite that, the system requirements for it are more than decent, with the minimum being an i5 processor, 8 gigs of RAM and a GTX 970 or Radeon RX 580 graphics card. For reference, I can smoothly run it on ultra settings on my RTX 3070 Ryzen 5800X PC, which I was surprised by since most VR games require me to play on medium to high settings to run properly. One thing that pleasantly surprised me was the fact that there's so much more to the game than just great graphics. The level of detail and interactivity with all the objects in the game is through the roof. Et Pinot Noir. Very... With the storytelling and voice acting also being excellent from start to finish. The characters you'll meet all add to the immersion, really drawing you into the story and making you want to keep playing to find out what's going to happen One next. Act, they've robbed the world of the name Tesla. Like how a child mindlessly tears a page from a precious book. From a gameplay perspective, this adventure will have you solving some pretty intricate puzzles that are extremely well designed and will truly require you to put your brain to work. Imagine it's like an escape room that spans across thousands of years and through various civilizations, stories and challenges, all intertwined in a way that really made me remember why I love VR so much. It's titles like these that make this platform exceed what any other flat experience could even get close to. Now, if you've watched any reviews of mine in the past, you know I'm all about honesty, so let's talk about a few things that could be improved. Because as much as I loved playing this, it's not perfect and you deserve to know before spending your hard-earned money. If you appreciate that, hit the like button like I'm hitting this crocodile that's trying to destroy my boat. Okay, so this isn't something you'll encounter too often, but the devs have opted for a very weird jumping mechanic that really takes away from the immersion. Since instead of an actual jump, you just press a button, your screen goes blank for a second and you wake up on the other side. This is... that right there is a weird mechanic, like why... why don't... why doesn't it just have a jump button? While the game isn't being promoted as an action title, there are a few moments like the one with the crocodiles I showed you earlier, where hitting with the bat feels weightless, like hitting them with a foam noodle. Okay, I missed. <laughs> These two things really aren't that bad, but there is one thing that really annoyed me and I hope the devs can fix it with a patch. And it's the fact that the game doesn't save the physical location of objects you place around the environment after you quit the game. Everything works fine while in the game, and you don't have to worry if you quit right at the beginning of a chapter, but if you grab and move stuff around, then quit, it's likely that you won't find it where you left it. That's not creepy at all. No. Hello, Chucky. I absolutely loved Wanderer and want one of you to enjoy it too, so I'm giving away a Steam VR key to a lucky winner. To enter the giveaway, all you need to do is leave a like and a comment that includes hashtag Wanderer below and I'll use commentpicker.com to pick one of you at random. Do note that you need a VR ready PC to play this. Good luck and check out this weird conversation these guys were having in my kitchen. Hello. Hi. How are you doing? Did you subscribe to VR Man Cave? No I haven't. What's that? It's the most amazing VR channel in the world. Okay, I'll go and subscribe. Okay, I'll go back and watch some videos as well.
Let's seize the day, my friend. And by seize, I mean let's get this place electrified.